today I thought it would be fun to do another walkthrough video this time in an Irish pharmacy. I'm sure there will be contention because the chain itself is actually a British chain and I thought about doing a smaller pharmacy but the fact of the matter is there's just not that much to see and also it's just a microcosm of what's in the bigger drugstore and I just find that more interesting. Also it would be really tough to film covertly because obviously I'm not really supposed to be filming in these places but you know seek forgiveness not permission. A lot of you guys have told me in the past that my walkthrough videos are really nice to fall asleep to so shh go to bed. Before you do go to bed be sure to subscribe but otherwise the next time you go out of your way to go to a shop you're gonna get there and find that the thing that you specifically went there for is sold out. Ooh, not the inconvenient. On with the video. Okay, disclaimer, some of the audio on this is really dodgy, like she sounds like she's in a tin of beans, but needs must. Secondly, I strongly suggest you watch this in full screen because then you can see the prices and stuff. So this is Boots Pharmacy in Dublin. It's definitely not the biggest Boots even in Dublin, but it is two floors, so it's pretty big. I just wanted to give you guys a good idea of what an Irish pharmacy has, so I picked this one. So we go in and pick up our fish. Um, I like these ones because all your little cosmetics don't fall out in the bottom. Um, first thing we have is aisles and aisles and aisles of hair care. So like the thing I noticed when I was in an American pharmacy was the fact that things were kind of more grouped by brand than they were by product. That's a child crying in the background, but I think that's pretty standard. That was a lady walking past the camera. You'll see all the L'Oreal Aviv there and you'll see all the whatever that is. Um, but then they'll also have stuff in other aisles that is like skincare and stuff. There's literally about six aisles of just hair products. But uh, I guess you can never do enough with your hair. I use that one. It's probably not supposed to be there, but yeah, it's pretty good. Here's a little bits and bobs. I felt like when I was in America, like a lot of the stuff was more expensive. Then on the ends of the aisles, you have your stuff that's on offer. Today, it seems to be tissue paper for your nose hole. Special hairbrushes. I would tend to buy my hairbrush in pennies, but that's just me. My hairdresser actually said I should get a special detangling brush, but um, it's like 12 quid, so nah. When we go across the aisle, you get into more toiletries, but like more specific stuff again. So they're grouped by brand, but also by products. So like face masks, lip care. Um, I don't know, I found it really disorienting to try and find stuff when it was all just grouped by brand. So like all the shampoos and the skin masks and all that stuff was together in the pharmacies that I visited in America. I don't know if that's typical. Men's stuff, ooh. Oh, we shouldn't be looking at that. This is kind of the man section. There's like a dedicated aisle, really, but that's not to say you can't buy stuff anywhere. There's some man's guard. No, that's just a random thing. This has come in handy more than a couple of times because I always rip my tights when I'm out. This wall is kind of a mix of things, like it's tissues and wet wipes, but it also is kind of like a lot of stuff that is grouped by brand. And I don't know, I guess maybe when they're paying the concession to like get their product here, they pay for that or something, but I would call it kind of the, the fancy products the slightly more expensive things. Stuff you'd buy your mum if you couldn't think of what to buy her for Christmas. And we're into tampones. As ever, I do think lady products should be free. However, in Ireland, we made a law that meant we don't have a tax on lady products. And I mean, they are essential, so as it should be.
I stand corrected, there's actually two aisles for boys. How exciting. There's some just for men. Nothing wrong with a bit of just for men, lads. Those are the, the stuff you buy your brother if you don't know what to buy him. It's virtually impossible for me to film every single thing here because there are literally dozens of aisles, but I just want to give you a rough idea. This stuff seems to be very aesthetically pleasing. Fancy. There's always standalone cosmetic counters in the middle of boots. So here they have like Benefit, Elizabeth Arden, but in other places they have more. Okay, we were in kind of the more affordable toiletries and now we're kind of into, you want to invest in your skin as you get older kind of territory. So yeah, I don't know how you feel about that. But yeah, no, you've got the options. This section is one of my favorites. It's miniatures and it's really cool because you get to either try out the products or you can bring them away with you like I do on trips. No, you're perfect. No, you. Right here is your cheapest chips kind of section. It's the home brand boot stuff. So you can get stuff really reasonable, but then kind of intermingled with that is like the more middly kind of territory, which is the way I would roll, maybe not the bio oil, but um, yeah, that'd be kind of like a bit more expensive, cheaper stuff. And then this is all kind of middly range stuff for middly range people like me. Very important for Irish skin is both fake tan and tan protecting. So uh, yeah, what one do I buy? I have bought Saint-Tropez in the past, but I'm onto a different thing now. I didn't buy it here. And if you're a millionaire, there's a section for you too. Stuff I use, all stuff I use. Don't get those blackhead strips. They're absolutely useless. They just hurt your nose, really. Crucial. I don't judge you if you choose not to remove your body hair, but the option is there. Then we're into more like the cosmetic section and the fragrances and the things that'll make you supposedly more beautiful, but you're beautiful already. I'm not too sure how many of these brands you can get outside of Europe or even outside of Ireland, but uh, there's definitely like a big price ch changing thing. I like this one, Natural Collection. It's really, really cheap, like really cheap, but um, pretty good actually. But yeah, they also have like better makeup, like the good shiz too, so yeah. Again, there is just so many brands that it's just hard to keep up, but uh, I do my best. There is a lot of aftershaves. I don't know what the price differences are, but you can check it out for yourselves. And ladies' perfumes. More perfume. I just won't even choose a scent. I guess by the best looking people who advertise it. They certainly don't describe how it smells, so. This one's kind of like a knockoff of Benefit, but I tried it before. I didn't really like it that much. That's just me. Nice packaging though. Nail polish. 
then of course you can get brushes and all that stuff here as well. I don't know what the price differences are like, but uh, I actually don't think there's too much of a difference in brushes. But I did notice when I was stateside that when I went to look at like eyelashes and things like that, not that I wear them, I'm all natural, <laughs> um, but they were more expensive. So natural all the time. I just feel like there's a broader range of prices in Irish pharmacies than there were when I visited other places. Okay, now we are heading upstairs. There is an elevator, but it's sort of frowned upon to take the elevator unless you have a buggy or a disability. Um, it's not like something disgust, but yeah, you're basically meant to take the stairs. Upstairs is where you'll find more pharmacy type stuff, but also there are more cosmetic-y things too. Oh, more like um, gadgets and things. Do you know what? I actually underestimated how much men's stuff there is. I guess because I've never really been looking for it before. For the parent shape viewers, this is the kind of prices I have no mode of comparison, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Check them out for yourselves. Actually, do you know something I really like about this boots? It's the fact that the lady items are not lumped in with the baby items. I always find that extremely insulting, but maybe that's just me being offended. You can even buy baby clothes here, who knew? Just looking out the window in the mall. This is actually the mall that we filmed the guys sabotage my first date in on. On, in, on, in, in, on, on, in, what? <gasps> Cat ears, ooh, no. There's actually rakes of stuff for kids. There is a gift section here for the gift on the go that you didn't really put much thought into. I remember in one of my very first P.O. Box videos, one of the viewers sent me a ton of Yankee candles and I literally just finished them. Um, but as you can see, they're pretty expensive here too. Some shades. I don't know why they say for him. Is it because men have different sized faces than women? For him, for her, for him, for her. I'll wear what I like. More mini travel things. Oh, I do love mini travel. I'm like literally so tempted to buy like 50 things now. I don't need them. They're not even designed for me. Oh, but they're so cheap and little. I don't know, there's just something novel about them being little. I knew that wasn't all the tan downstairs. We like our tan in Ireland. Well, I like my tan. I'm not saying every single human being in Ireland likes fake tan, but I certainly do. Well, I think you look better without any tan on. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Nigel. I didn't actually ask for your opinion. Somebody was asking before about um, seasonal things that get cleared. They were asking to see the Halloween stuff. We don't really sell stuff like that in Irish pharmacies, um, but we do have just clearance of general things. You'd get more Halloween stuff and seasonal stuff in a pound shop. If you want to see a pound shop walk through, let me know. The novelty photo section. Um, we have a lot of toothbrushes here. 
the Brits get accused a lot of having bad teeth, but I think the Irish have copped on to it now. A lot of people are getting more dentistry here. Some snacky snacks, if the impulse takes you while you're shopping. Okay, we are starting to get into actual pharmaceutical type of things now. So let's check out what's over the counter and what's not. Just off the side of it, actually, before we get into drugs, there's some pretty cool stuff you can get here. They have like a photo thing, which I actually didn't even know about. So it's cool to have hard copies of pictures, right? Nobody does that anymore. Also got healthy snacks, which if you are that way inclined, I'm sure is very nice. <laughs> oh, I made myself laugh at my own joke. Now we're kind of into over the counter -y stuff. Most things are behind the counter so you have to ask and um, even if you don't need a prescription you have to ask for them. Calpol. Calpol is a very popular medicine in Ireland for children um, that I certainly had growing up and it's used a lot to make kids drowsy and go to sleep which yes is probably frowned upon but I'm completely fine. Now that I actually stop to think about it, I realise it's interesting that we do have to always ask for stuff. I never really thought about it before. You just you just do what you're used to. I noticed in America you can just pick up the pack you want and get it. Oh, check it out, gummies. Hmm, pick up a few of them. reading glasses. Woo woo! What a selection. And then just beside it, if you didn't use them. Dun, dun, dun. Basically anything that is pain related or heavy duty cold related or anything like that, you have to get it behind the counter. Okay, when I started filming the pharmaceutical stuff, I was getting some funny looks from security, so we gotta get out of here. And that's it. Today's video goes out to my Karmic Goals crew over on Patreon. You can find all their names in the description box below. And if you find one in the comments, say boo. They'll know what it means. Have a great weekend. I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Come here, Chief. You eating your dinner? Can you chew quieter? Thank you. Are we have finished? Wonderful. Come on up and join me for the video. Come on up. Up. Oh, hey. He's here. He's full.
just walks all over me. <laughs>